Magic. We're going to create a background today and this is a technique that I've done before but we're just going to bring it more up to date and, and add a little bit more to it. Now the things that you're going to need to do this is a shallow dish, you're going to need some really cheap shaving foam and I think this was about 25 pence and I'm using Spectrum Noir's alcohol refills. You can use any alcohol refills that you've got, but for mine I'm using DG4, TB3 and PP5. Now this is just a little old baking tray and you need the size that your card will fit into. And this is just an A4 piece of card that I've cut in half and that will fit in there quite nicely. So what you need to do now is just fill this with some of your really cheap shaving foam. Now you'll get quite a few cards done out of this foam but what I'm going to do now is just level it all off and I'm just using a ruler to level it off. And once I've done that, if it's a bit messy ladies, I'm sorry, you're going to take some of your alcohol ink and you're going to just drop it into your shaving foam randomly. And that was PP5. This is TB4. And I'm just squeezing it in. And the last one is DG4. Now you can use any colours that you wish. And some can make really pretty, delicate backgrounds. Okay, now once you've done that, just take a coffee stirrer and you're just going to swirl through your shaving foam. Just swirl through it randomly. What you don't want to do is is mess up your muddy your colours, I should say. So you're not going to do it too much. Okay. Now, once you've got a pattern in there that you're happy with, take your card and just lay it down on the top and press it down. And then, when you've done that, make sure it's done all round. When you've done that, you're going to lift it out of your tray and I'm going to pop that on one side and then with your ruler, I'm just going to scrape off the excess shaving foam and I'm not going to put that back in my tray. So there's my piece of card, I'm just going to go and wash this. Now with the foam that you have left in your tray, I've just added a little more ink and I've just swirled it again. And this now will take another piece of card. And I'm just going to do exactly the same thing. Lift it out. And if it's not done in some parts, just pop it back in again. There's a piece right in the middle that's not taken. So now I'm just going to put that on one side and repeat this, just scrape it off and get rid of all this. This is just surplus now. And then we're going to just let that dry. So I now have two pieces of card and they've been created from these three alcohol uh, refills, but they need to dry. So you can either dry them with a heat gun or just pop them on one side and let them dry. I'm going to work on this piece and this is a piece that I created a while ago and this has got some lovely purple in it. This is dry. So what I've done with this now is I've cut it down so that I can matte and layer it onto some uh, matching cardstock 
and that will sit on the front of my card but before I do that I want to make this a little bit more um, luxurious so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray it with spray and sparkle from Crafters Companion and this is pearl diamond and it gives a really pretty effect I also want to emboss the card so I've added it to a spray booth and I'm going to spray it with the pearl diamond so I'm just going to go all over the card and then once that dries that will be lovely and pearly. So there's your piece of card embossed and sprayed with the pearl. But another alternative is to spray it with spray adhesive and add some glitter. So I've created my card base. I've embossed another piece of plain card and that's been matted onto some of the purple. That's going to sit inside the card and this is the piece that's going to sit on the front. Now for the next part of the card I've stamped and embossed myself a sentiment and I'm going to double frame that. So I'm using the opulent ovals and I'm using the largest die and the second die put together and they will create my purple frame and then I've used the, the second one and the third die and they will create my white frame now I've added these two together with little foam pads and I've put foam pads on the back of the the purple layer and that's going to sit that double frame is going to sit on top of my sentiment and that will then be added to my card. Now I want to dress this card up a little bit more so I'm going to use one of these corners from Want to Scrap and I'm just taking one of them and it's going to sit along there and then along the bottom I'm going to add double ribbon and glue that in place along there. So once these are glued in place I can add my liner to the inside and I've just wrapped a piece of ribbon around that and this can be added with foam tape to the front of the card. So I now have this glued to the front of my card I'm going to add my sentiment with its double frame just along there and then I have a nice piece of ribbon that's going to sit along the bottom and I have my little diamante center and then I'm going to add some flowers along the side so it's playtime to find out where I would like my blooms so there you have a background that you can create to match your own designs and the card is now finished I've added my flowers and I've put some glitter on them as I always do and once the glue is dry the glitter will lie flat but I've also added in a hat pin and I think that's a very pretty card that would suit any occasion